We are endlessly proud of what happens in our building, from athletics to service activities to clubs and connections. Those things to us make our way of transmitting what it is to be in the Gator family, and we learn from each other. This place feels like home, because it is home. The best thing about this school is the people hands down. The staff is so supportive and great. It's a wonderful place to work uh, and our students are just different in that they are strong, upstanding community members who want to be here and who exhibit like the Gator spirit in all aspects of their life, whether they're playing sports, whether they're performing, whether they're in academics. It's the people make this place very unique. And I just think that the staff is really nice here and they help you with everything in school and outside of school, and they support you with everything that you do. They're uh, pretty friendly, I mean, it's always like, like they're always there to help. One thing that we learn from our kids every year, when we read survey results, when we talk to them in person, when we have conversations about what's happening in their school, is they know that teachers care, period. And so what that does for us is with a relationship and a connection, everything is possible. I remember in grade seven, I first came here and I didn't know where any of my, like I didn't really know where any of my classes were, I knew who my teachers were, but almost every single time, like when on the first day I'd go to my class and be like, where's this next one? And the teacher would tell me and they'd be offering help, like even if you knew where it was, they'd make sure you knew where you're going and you're in the right place at the right time. It was definitely a little overwhelming. These are so many people, I didn't really know where to go. I got lost a few times, but like everybody like helped me and got me on the right way. And it was really easy to get into. We have very good sports teams, excellent coaches, very hardworking coaches, lots of winning, lots of championships, and probably the best thing is the whole staff will go to the, to the games, especially the finals. We paint our faces and wear our Gator gear. When I'm done my career, those are some of the times I'll remember the most. And for the kids, they may never play in front of a crowd that big again, and I know it's a thrill for them, and I know they really appreciate us when they come watch them play. I'll always remember just playing, wearing the Lauren Aiken jersey and just having fun. We have really strong track record in terms of athletics and it's a really strong emphasis on healthy living, fit for life, getting active every day. The curriculum is our foundation. It is our way of framing what learning looks like and feels like and what we are looking for as an outcome. But what we're really talking about is we're talking about learning about citizenship, learning about connection, learning about long-term big picture. What our goal isn't to create a kid that's got the outcomes for grade nine, but to create a kid that's got a future, that's planned some sort of direction together. And what we do in Harmony is try and find ways to make curriculum be compatible with what young people look like and what young people want to be like in the future and the place that's amazing for us right now is we don't even know. We don't even know what the careers will be in the future because they don't exist yet. I think in junior high it's such a huge step for so many other things in their lives. Where they're going to be in high school, what they're going to do for a living and a lot of times they will come to us and ask and we just try to steer them in the right direction and when they when they really have an idea that this is gonna be good for me, it's just excellent to see as a teacher and it, it, it never gets old. That novelty never wears off. My favorite option was art. Because you just gotta put like your creative mind to things and learn different aspects of art. Probably fit for life. Like it's just like a, it's like a second gym class. And when you're kind of learning all day, it's always fun to have a break and go try either sports that you have played or sports that you haven't. My two favorite options were foods and fit for life because foods, you just gotta sew and make food and food's really delicious. And our fit for life is like a second gym class. So it was like more activity during the day, which was really awesome. Get involved and definitely try out for as many sports as you can, join clubs, do intramurals. Just be a part of the school culture. Get out of your comfort zone. The more you get out of it, the more at home you'll feel. And I always felt like home here. Yeah. Junior high is tricky for everyone. Junior high is a complicated space. And what we know, we, we want to teach our kids some things. And the few things that we can teach them as parents, we want to let our kids struggle. It's okay. So coming to junior high, if you're uncertain or if your family's uncertain, that's allowed. That's okay because that's part of the growth process. 
For young people, I would recommend, like, try it. Be ready to engage with new things, to explore and learn, because the experiences are what, what makes us who we are. It's not about, you know, credentialing, it's about experience. It's about events and moments in their lives that create us who we are, because we are our memories. Lauren Aikens is a great school to be in. I wouldn't have picked a different school. <laughs> I'm glad I stuck with it.